Is this a bobcat, an ocelot, or maybe a bobcat ocelot hybrid? Hey, this is Chester Moore, and I have an awesome video for you of something that I have been researching for probably 15 years now. Before we get into that, make sure and subscribe to this channel. Chester Moore, wildlife journalist and investigator. And if you get a chance, subscribe to the Dark Outdoors podcast on all podcast platforms. So let's take a look right now at the full video submitted by an awesome reader of my HigherCalling.net blog. This is definitely a bobcat, but you notice that the pattern is different than a typical bobcat. It has rosette patterns like an ocelot would. And it's just a really amazing look at this cat. What happened was about 15 years ago, a reader submitted a photo asking if maybe they had a bobtailed ocelot on their game camera in Texas. Everything said bobcat, but the pattern. And I don't know what's going on out there, but this is about the fifth of these cats that I have seen photos of or video of in the state of Texas. And I've got to ask the question, is it possible there could have been hybridization? Why do you have this unique pattern and certain bobcats out there. My friend Jeff Stewart, a great researcher, author, and a television personality, saw an animal on the Sabine River bottoms years ago that he thought might have been a serval. And a serval is an African cat that has a similar pattern somewhat to an ocelot. They have tufted ears and they have a pretty short tail. And that was what he first thought he saw out there in the nighttime. And then I turned him on to some of these photos. He said, that's what I saw then. So there are uh, quite a few of these unique looking uh, bobcat creatures out there. And what do you think is going on out there? I mean, why would bobcats have this pattern of having it in like limited supply? It's obviously pretty rare. Now I have probably seen in person 200 bobcats in the wild. When I used to hunt South Texas a lot, I would see every hunting trip down there, two or three. One time I saw five in one day on a turkey hunt near Brackettville. Seen many, many bobcats, but I've never seen one of these in the wild. But we have gotten these game camera photos and videos showing you something very unique going on with bobcats out there. Now, I think bobcats are part of the greater uh, cat mysteries of America. I think they even tie into the Black Panther phenomenon. And I have another video, which we'll link to at the very end of this, talking about how there are melanistic bobcats, confirmed, like black bobcats. It's absolutely confirmed. The first time I saw one was mounted in a Gander Mountain store in Beaumont, Texas, mounted by taxidermist Steve Moy up in Livingston. And then I learned of some that were living on an island in Florida and some that had been trapped on the East Coast. And unlike uh, mountain lions, which there's never been a specimen brought in, uh, born in a zoo or any captive setting where there are many mountain lions, I don't think melanism's in mountain lions. There's no proof that it is. As a matter of fact, the melanism you see is always in the cats that have a spotted pattern. You don't see you know, certain melanistic lions, although Facebook used to be full of them a while back when people were sharing a particular picture. It was definitely done with... Um, you know, Photoshop or something, but bobcats are part of what people are seeing and getting confused. I probably had over 200 photos sent up to me of people thinking that they saw a mountain lion and it was actually a bobcat. They're asking for identification because people aren't used to seeing wild cats, but bobcat populations are seem to be very much growing. They're adaptable even in cities. Um, and bobcats are on the rise, and, and as, as urbanization increases, people are going to come in contact with them more, and are they going to see more of these really strange-looking bobcats? So anyway, I thought I would share this really unique bobcat. If you have a photo or a video of a bobcat like this, or maybe a black, you know, melanistic bobcat, uh, please send to me at chester at chestermore.com. That is chester at chestermore.com. I would absolutely Love to share that with our viewers out there. And this is just the beginning. We're going to have lots of more unique wildlife. I dig the dark, mysterious side of nature, and this definitely qualifies for that. And it's a really unique, we're very appreciative of getting this video. It's someone that I met at a conference, and they submitted this video to me. 
super excited about that and a lot of cool things coming up doing a lot of research and wildlife out there that is on the dark side, mysterious side of nature. Always lots of fun. But please, if you get a chance, subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video, and help me grow this. This is I'm an independent media contractor, and the way you're going to get more content like I do out here is if I can eventually make some more income from this. So I'm very open and honest about that, and I appreciate you helping me by liking and subscribing and sharing what we do. Hope you dig this. Also, subscribe to the Dark Outdoors podcast. It's a really cool podcast about true crime and terrifying encounters in the great outdoors. And the latest episode is actually a Black Panther episode. So you might enjoy that if you enjoy this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support.